Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our Werewolf playthrough. Uh, this is powered by Enai Rim, which is a series of light overhaul mods that Enai Cion, I'm probably butchering that, <laughs> um, has created. Now, this is a bit of a mod pack. I'm using it as an all-in-one of my playthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Now, the only thing that's changed since our last episode is we are going to go ahead and sleep outside and transform ourselves into a werewolf. So the aim of today, so that we're clear from the start, first we're going to become a werewolf. Now, when Hercene approaches us in the middle of the night and offers us the beast blood, when we take it, we're going to transform immediately. That eliminates the possibility of me doing it in the town, because I don't want to get into a conflict with the gods. Alright, so we're going to have to find a bed outside somewhere else. From there, we're going to go back to Redoran's Retreat, and we're going to clear out the, the bounty quest that we have. I've done this once already, just as a little test, because I wanted to see, you know, what sort of power levels we're talking. Becoming a werewolf is incredibly strong at this stage in the game, especially against bandits. Now, that's not going to detriment us in other areas, but what I will do, I'm going to just notch it up to expert, because it did make it a little too easy. Uh, it's still difficult in, in human form. But for Werewolf, it made it a little easy. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Along the way, back to Redoran's Retreat, because, of course, we're going to be in Werewolf form for a little while this episode. We're going to be taking on any bandits that we see, anyone that we can feed on and just get some perks behind us. There's some really nice, juicy perks in the Werewolf tree now. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be aiming for. Now, there is a camp back up where we got into conflict with Tolsgar next to the shrine. Um, we could try and go back there and use that bed rule, which I think will probably be the best bet. So let, let's get to it. I'll try, I'm will try. i going to try and go up a, a slightly different way because I don't want to encounter Tolsgar. Uh, he is still hostile and the guards up there seem to have caught wind of what I'm doing at that outpost. So we're going to go up and round. So we're going to go through Riverwood. Just up here. And we're going to go up and round. And I'll see you guys there. You're as good as dead. Oh, come on then, bro. Oh, you like that? Yeah? Me and my horse make a formidable teammate. There we go. Let's see what you got, you little bitch. Can I get first person? Great. Oh, frost salts there are expensive. Vampire dust. I'll take the poison, 100%. Uh, we don't really have the cavalry weight for anything else, but I'll take that. Let's go. Okay, we're nearly there. Alright, so we're going to loot this camp. We actually didn't do this before, so I'm going to take those robes. Take the coin purse. Money. Uh, we'll take the seared slaughterfish as well, that's nice. Oh, one-handed insight, that's lovely as well. Without further ado, let's take a look at the time. It's only 4 p.m. Okay, I've tried this a couple of times. It seems like uh, old Hercene doesn't want to come visit us when it's, you know, 5 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to go till midnight. Okay, so we're going to go for 8 hours. And see if he, uh, if he wants to give us his blood. I think it's high time we became a werewolf. Nope, sleep one more hour. Bang, there we go. An ominous nightmare. In your dream, you find yourself in a dark forest, lit by the light of the blood moon. In the distance, you hear the howling of wolves and the faint screams of men. A horned figure beckons you from a rocky outcropping, of wolves at his feet. You recognise him as Hercene, father of man-beasts. In his hands is a chalice filled with a crimson liquid. Let's guzzle it down. Uh, we're going to be a werewolf for the sake of this. There we are. Okay, how are we looking? It's a little dark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bump the brightness up for you guys. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay, right. There's a few bodies nearby, I think. Yep, we're going to go ahead and utilise those to get some perk increases. Oh, there we go. Feed. There's also a shrine up here filled with dead bodies. Let's go ahead and uh, make use of those hearts. Depends whether you watch Supernatural or not, I guess. 
Now, how this interacts with survival mode, survival mode itself does make some changes to how a werewolf interacts with its own little subsystem. Um, a werewolf does gain extra warmth capabilities, I believe, because, you know, in account for the fur. And feeding as a werewolf does also increase, um, you know, classes feeding on food as it would in human form. So that's one way to keep yourself satiated. Alright, there's one perk. I'm not going to go through the, the perk tree in detail, we'll just address it as we go. Um, it would take quite a while, and we are on a bit of a time scale here. You guys don't want to see that. So, we're going to take Bestial Strength, which is the first perk you need to take. So we're going to deal 25% more attack damage in beast form. Great. Okay, we can search as a werewolf now as well, which is super handy. Oh, two. Great. There is a little hunter down by the lake. We'll take care of him. He's not catching much fish. He's not making himself useful. We'll go do that. In fact, we may go up to Helgen and take care of the bandits, which will reside there now. But let's go do that. Let's go up to Helgen. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Hello? Oh, hi. I didn't know if you'd be in. Well, we uh, we had a bit of a slow dance first. Oh, there's a there seems to be a big delay between popping people's skulls. But you did see me put this up to <laughs> a greater difficulty, and we just one shot those guys. We took care of him real quick. Come on, Mr. Mage. You're gone. Wow, the power. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some perks in as a werewolf and then we're going to go to Dustman's Cane. Um, maybe in this episode we will end up there. Oh, hello. Are you guys twins? Is that the exact same character model? We've probably got a spare perk now. Yeah, we got a perk point here and we're halfway to another one. So what I'm going to do, I know it would be really interesting if we force transformations on ourselves, but I just can't be bothered. To, <laughs> I just can't be bothered to deal with that. That's my own fault. So I'm going to bury the beast straight away. I am going to leave the uh, the frequency of the silver hand elite werewolf hunters alone because I mean I might leave that till last. I'm going to complete the perk tree, but I quite like the idea of being hunted down. In theory, being forced to transform is really, really nice. But because I'm trying to get through a quest line here and I've got a specific goal in mind, um, I'd like to be able to go at my own pace with regards to that. But you can take or leave it. If you like it from a roleplay standpoint, I completely agree. I think it's I think it's great. But um, for me, I, I do have aspirations of getting through this and uh, putting spanners in the works I am not in the habit of. Right, so we've done Helgen. We can go get that hunter now. And then we're going to go from the hunter um, across to Anissa's cabin. We're going to kill Anise, And then we're going to go from Anissa's cabin up to Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm going to kill those guys outside of Bleak Falls Barrow. And then we're going to cut through over the top of the mountain next to Bleak Falls. And then on our way to Redoran's Retreat. Of course, if you don't want to power level your werewolf form... Uh, I, you know, I completely understand that to each their own. The end of the day, it's already. Been. But we do need the levels, and uh, eating in werewolf form does level my skills up, and uh, hitting people also levels my skills up. So I'm quite a fan of that. Peace. Where are you? Thought I heard. Oh wow! That's all you've got. Must have quite a bit of load on my Xbox in a minute. Okay, Anise is down. Let's get to uh, Bleak Falls. Oh. Is that the Vigilance of Stendor? Sorry, guys. It is. It is Vigilant of Stendor. 
Hi guys. You picked a bad time oh, I missed. Lost now, I just... Enough of this. Freeze frame. How much damage are we taking here? So hit me. Yeah, we are taking damage. So not a mortal, but when we feed, we pop, health goes back up, you see. So oh dear. Hello. There we have it. And another perk. Alrighty, for this one, I'm not gonna increase our power, I just want sort of some more interesting stuff. 100 points to health and stamina, that's going to make us immortal at this stage. Movement speed is increased 10% in and out of beast form. Yeah, that's going to come in real, real handy. So, to Bleak Falls. Alright, there should be a guy down here. Is someone there? You can't hide there. there is someone here. No! Okay, so we lost one down the side, we'll have to try and... Go get them. Wee. Now we don't take any fall damage as a werewolf either, which is another really nice addition. I think if it had reduced fall damage by like 90%, I think that would have been more realistic. Uh, 90 or 80%, you know, so you can drop great distances, but for a vampire lord, you should definitely receive no fall damage on account of the uh, wings. On, you Freeze monster. frame! I believe that is a vanilla bug, by the way, um, just in case you guys are wondering. Even as a, a werewolf in vanilla Skyrim, the animations can be a little wonky. Alright, away we go. Down the side of the mountain and up past Fort Greymoor to Redoran's retreat. And then we're going to kick that bandit's ass after they made a fool of us. Then we'll get back to Whiterun, we'll turn the bounty in. In fact, what we'll do is we're going to go straight to Dustman's Cairn. We'll go Redoran's Retreat, take our bounty, and then straight to Dustman's Cairn, and we'll see what we can get done. Wee. I'm freezing, see? So, we get a buff to warmth, but we don't... Um, we're not immune to it. You know, we're not immune to the cold. Oh, we've got another perk. Perfect. Now, this one... Let's have a look-see. Gorging, able to feed off the undead. Beast form attacks do an additional 10 points of bleed damage. That would be really nice. Okay, we'll do that. So power attacks do more damage. I've got a plan. I know exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to roar at the bandit chief. They're going to run away in fear. And then we're just going to take advantage of them. Plain and simple. You'll see a colour shift in a moment when, uh, when I go back to being warm. Here we go. Hi. Oh, she went flying. Look at that. Where are you going? No, I won't. Oh, that was a hit. You deserve this. For all the pain you put me through last episode. There we have it. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and revert. There we go. First person it up. Okay, take that head. I think we'll take the shield. Over the, um, the banded, banded iron shield. Yeah, we'll get rid of that one. Great. I'm just gonna go stand next to the fire, get rid of this haze. There it is, catching up. I feel warmer, but I'm still chilly. Uh, let's take a look in the chest. We'll take the ingots. Take the portions. We'll take the treasure map. We'll leave the shield. There's a part of the bandit chief over here, apparently. Sneak insight gained. That's cool. Ah, there are some bed rolls. Let's get some rest. We don't need a lot. I think we're going to go till, you know, maybe 12. 
and then we'll shoot on round to Dustman's Cane and uh, get some uh, get some whopping in time to kick some ass we're gonna go health I want to be a primarily high health build just for survivability more than anything alright we're just gonna bank this point for now ready to be a werewolf again like Dustman's Cane's only around the corner Let's go meet up with Farkas. See how much time we've got left. Oh, what a nice day. What a nice day. Guys, I've been looking at the quality of the video that ends up on YouTube. And the colour's a little different for you guys than it is for me because I'm playing in HDR. I am going to take this little bit of a time out here to try and colour match it the best I can on the capture. Alright, so bear with me just one second. Okay, I feel like that's better. That's more like what I was seeing before. I mean, my TV looks all jacked up now, colour-wise. But on the capture, looks like where it needs to be. If we go to the map, where are we? We need to be at Dustman's Cane. So let's get that marker put in place. North is the direction we need to be in. There it is. Okie dokie. There he is. My best pal. We should keep moving. All right, then. Okay, put him up. Looks like someone's been digging. Two handed insight. Okay, we don't really need that. Tread lightly. Now, we're going to attempt to do this without going into werewolf form for as long as we can. So, I'm going to quick save it here. Let's just see what sort of trouble. These droggers actually give us a. Okay. The answer is a lot of trouble. This is what I mean. This is what I was referring to. Let's go into all potions. Oh, I don't need to do that. I can just. Uh, I've got them hot keyed. Yeah. There we go. Dead. Dead as a doorneal. <laughs> now let's try it as a werewolf. Okay, we're moving quick. Be careful around the burial stones. Right, so we're doing decent damage. Now bear in mind we can't eat these guys. Okay. So they're down, but our health has took a hit. Sorry, Farkas. Sort of feeling at these guys. There's another one down. We need the, uh, we actually need the silver hand to come to us. We're going to ignore the dialogue options with, uh, with Farkas. There he is. Now look what you've gotten yourself into. No worries. Just sit tight. I'll find the release. What was that? It's time to die, dog. We knew you'd be coming here. Your mistake, companion. Which one is that? It doesn't matter. He wears that armor, he dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. None of you will be alive to tell it. Oh, he's absolutely cleaned them. I'm pretty sure some of them died before we hit them. No, 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 no. Bloodlust extended. Yes, please. Uh, what was that? It's a blessing given to some of Yeah, I'm just going to skip through all of this because we are, of course, already a werewolf. It's no picnic with the um, with the silver hand either. Those guys are beasts. Right, one down. So she's uh, she's living. Not 
long. Oh wow. Okay, we had to be tactical about that one. Your mastery of one-handed serves you well. You gain an additional point. Very nice. You won't oh, get away from me. Spare body on the table. We'll take that. We've got a perk available. That's excellent. That's that's what we want. Okay, so we're one perk away from savage feeding. Lovely. Oh, he absolutely cleaned us. Okay, let's get to it. Let's try this again. Yeah, we're going to go into werewolf form. We've got to be really careful around these drugger, and then hopefully we can survive the encounter long enough to get to the silver hand again. Okay, so we cleared those. There's one here. Let's uh, see if we can get it. Oh, we've got to knock down that perfect. Go on, son. Go on, son. Okay, let's what get one. That? Don't kill me while I'm killing him, please. Come on, you monster. Gonna have to kite a little. Whoa, no. You were the guy. Got him. And now we can turn and focus on the, the drugger. I'm gonna need that howl back. That's your best, huh? Okay, I'll get past you. See if I can find that archer. There you are. Pop your head. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's it. I would like to be able to attack these. It wouldn't let me attack there. Okay, I'm feeding. Getting a bit poison as well, but I'm feeding. I'll leave him there in case I need a little snack. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's it. Me and you, Farkas. Buddies till the end. I'm sure I just heard someone say, prepare to die. Oh, yeah. We have company, Farkas. Get out of my way, please. Oh, we got a mole. A little bit inconvenient where the camera put us, but I yeah, will take it. On to the next. It's the uh, the Drogger Crypt, which is really going to make things interesting. Oh, the power attack on the back seem to do the trick there. Nice. God, I love werewolves in this game. We got a perk? No, but we're really close. I think one more and we'll be sound. Oh, perfect. That's it. Okay, does this increase our perk? It does. Even better. Even better. I think we're on for a winner here now. What was this? There's just something satisfying about putting my claws through their face. Okay, we're gonna have to reverse form. There we are. Oh, it means business. Here we are. We're in. That's it. 
That's it. Oh, no. Here we are. Right, quick save before we get locked in. There we are. He's shouting at me already. That's crazy. Okay, we need to feed straight away. There, another one down. Another one bites the dust. Oh, you smacked me in the face. Right, there's a few of them now. Oh dear, look at that. Feed. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Wah. Right, I need to get away from them. Oh, they shouted me to death. Oh no, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay, so we got the feed. But I need to get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, my God, man. Come on. Come on, lads. No! There's no way a pistol door does that much damage, man. Take the fragment, you stupid hairy bastard. It's this guy? Look at him. He's absolutely tanking the whole lot. That is bullshit. It's that one particular drogger which is really doing it for me. Back and just try and bob and weave a bit. There's another one down. This guy. We're surviving. That's that's the important thing. Stop shouting at me. Oh. Ah. Oh, that was really close. Oh. Ah no. I cannot best you. Okay, guys. I'm gonna level with you. It's been about half an hour of me trying to do this. It's gonna be a, to be continued. My name is Brian. This is Botched Up Games. Remember, if you can't beat him, then botch them. <laughs> Take care.